Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dan Weimer here, CEO of Morpheus Network. Uh, here today with a cool uh, demonstration of the platform for you guys. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'm wearing the, the brand new uh, Morpheus Network uh, t-shirts. I hope everyone's loving the look of these, these shirts over here. Uh, and today I have a, a special guest as well. Uh, we have uh, Mike Mazurkowitz uh, from Contract Express. Uh, he is a dispatcher. He's been in the trucking industry for a long time. Uh, so I'd like to say, um, you know, introduce you guys to Mike. And Mike, how are you doing today, sir? I'm just peachy keen. Peachy keen, that's fantastic. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the company you work with? The company I work with is called Contract Express, and we're a full truck load LTL transportation service provider. We offer uh, uh, inbound and outbound services on our own equipment into uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan. We also do North Carolina, South Carolina. We also have a domestic uh, uh, division that services uh, South Central Ontario for LTL and truckload as well. And we also have a flatbed division. We have flatbeds and roll tights as well. Fantastic. And they do, they do cross-border as well as domestic uh, deliveries. Cross-border, awesome. Yeah, great segue, Mike. Uh, actually, that's the reason we're talking today and why we're doing this demonstration. Um, now, we're not concentrating the actual uh, document generation. Uh, what we're concentrating on is the document sharing. Uh, so we're leveraging another blockchain technology. Uh, I know to you, Mike, that doesn't mean much. Uh, the, the technology itself uh, is IPFS, uh, or Filecoin. Uh, so basically, we're leveraging that technology to store this document on the blockchain. When I say this document, I mean the shipping documents that I'll be sharing with you, Mike. Uh, bill, uh, bill of lading, performer invoice, uh, which will be used for a, a cross-border shipment. Um, so once once again, Mike, I know your your knowledge on uh, blockchain technology, in, in you know in particular, um, you know is non-existent basically. Uh, so we're just you know sort of demonstrating to you uh, as a as a you know sort of non-technical person how you simply be receiving these documents stored on the blockchain immutably uh, and leveraging uh, you know basically the platform in order to set up uh, the shipment for us for a cross border. Tell me when you can see my screen here, Mike. I've got welcome to Morpheus Network Platform Review Preview. Preview, you got it. Okay, perfect. Uh, so this is the opening dashboard screen. Uh, many of you have seen this before. Uh, Mike is seeing this actually for the first time. Uh, we can skip this intro here. As you can see, Mike, it has a sort of a map of all the different shipments that we have, where they're going, where they're connected to. Um, this is not what we're going to focus on today. Let's focus on our, our documents and our cross border. So I'm going to take you right into uh, setting up a smart a supply chain smart contract. Uh, so here we go. So let's create a new contract. Uh, let's be creative here. All right, here we go. So here we set up a new smart contract. Here you can put in whatever information your shipment, you know, spe the specifications are. Uh, we have templates built in here just to make it a little bit, a little bit easier for us to, uh, you know, sort of navigate and get through the actual demonstration. So uh, for this demo, you can see it's a cross border from Canada to the United States. Um, build, it actually builds in the, the, the duty rates, uh, the HS codes, uh, gives you your totals and all that within this original smart contract screen. Well, if I, I, like I said, I need to find a truck. Now, we have uh, this screen over here is our module screen where we actually build up the actual supply chain. For our purposes here, uh, let's throw in a payment. Payments always make it interesting here. Let's schedule a payment here. We're gonna throw in email as well. What else here? Some other neat stuff I can show you quickly. Uh, we've shown this before, the QR code. Uh, let's do some document storage. That's where, all right. So we've set these up over here. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate the email actually. So what I'm gonna do is actually First, I'll show you this QR code uh, scan uh, module. Basically, you know, people have seen this before. I can send you a QR code scan. I can send it to my warehouse floor. This QR code gets scanned simply by using your cell phone and actually sets off an event trigger. Uh, we want these events to trigger each other all the way down the supply chain. For this demonstration here, we don't need a QR code. Uh, this could be something I can supply, let's say, to the floor of a shop. And if a shipment's ready to go, they can scan that QR code and it'll set off this entire, you know, sort of supply chain in motion. Uh, for our intents and purposes for this, we, we don't need that QR code scan. We'll start it off with a, with a payment, you know, just to kind of get it off. Uh, we'll do a fiat, fiat payment, 
excited to show you guys the uh, multiple conversions in the future as well. Uh, so let's say payment. And we've templated in as well the, um, the actual payment information here. Now we're gonna keep this small as an intercompany payment. $5. Okay. And that's configured. Uh, now let's configure our email over here. So let me quickly grab. This is Mike's email right here. Ah. So I'm writing a message to Mike. The payment is completed. Expect the document shortly. Okay. We configured that. Now the next step, we'll configure our actual document storage. Uh, now this is gonna be shared uh, with Mike directly. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this uh, as we actually let the smart contract run through. So uh, let's see, we'll call it shim docs. Okay. Paste in Mike to document and save. All right, excellent. And Mike's here for the second email. All right, so a couple messages for you, Mike, in there as well. Uh, we've configured all these modules, configured a payment. So what we have here, this is you know four basic steps. A payment is going to set set off. Uh, an email to you letting you know that payment was completed and then we're actually going to set off uh, Document storage. So putting those documents actually stored on the blockchain. This is where our integration with IPFS comes in IPFS uh, is a is a blockchain based storage technique that we're leveraging Basically, you're leveraging that as well, Mike. So you're gonna get a link You're gonna see how easy this is to come through. So now we're all complete with that contract We'll Save the contract and then we can actually watch uh, the actual progress of the contract as well. Uh, so the, the first event is the actual payment. You can see it was actually sent via Swift. Uh, that was just a $5 transfer, uh, just as an event trigger uh, for our next uh, event, which is actually gonna be this email that's gonna be sent off as well. So th that payment actually went through the Swift network. Uh, I know it seems as simple as, you know, through the platform, put the numbers in, but actually is you know contacting uh, using the banking system to send off that, that payment actually. Uh, and then when everything's been, been received, it will trigger the next objective, which is that that email, which has now been sent. So that might be processing through the uh, uh, through the interwebs. But if you check your your email, Mike, I don't know if you have your computer open there. there we, yes, Dan, I have three. I've got the payment has completed, document uploaded, set up a shipment. Awesome. Just take a quick peek. You don't have to, you know, read it in, in full depth right now, but that document's been uploaded. Uh, is there a little link there that you can click on as well? On the document uploaded? Yes. View document. Yes, I do see a view document. Now, if you can see a document, uh, that document you're pulling from is actually stored on the blockchain. So you're pulling data from the blockchain right now when you see that document. I do see your uh, uniform bill of lading. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's what we wanted. Um, now, what I'm going to show you right now as well uh, is since this contract's completed, uh, we can go back to that original screen that has all those different contracts lined up. This is the, the contract we just completed, this 54321. Uh, and I'm going to take you over here, uh, showing you directly on Etherscan, uh, which actually also uh, accesses the blockchain uh, and shows you specifically that all those individual modules are hashed, uh, that they were completed. Uh, so this is sort of the history of this one smart contract transaction that's written to the blockchain. So we have our scheduled payment. Uh, we have that Morpheus email. We have the document storage on IPFS. Uh, as well as we have the uh, this, the last Morpheus email as well, uh, and and that's basically it, Mike. So uh, you know, I'm showing you uh, sort of more stuff on the back end that you need to know. You know, do you have to know that this is being written to EtherScan? Do you have to know that IPFS 
is the you know is the blockchain that's you know storing the document not necessarily you know you don't you don't have to know that on your end this is clean documentation that we're going to send off for cross border shipment uh, and yeah I'm I'm looking forward to actually uh, you know showing people the the other end of it the proof of delivery and all that stuff as well once we get you know across the border with this these goods so um, okay so Mike yeah that's that's basically it um, uh, we've gone through the steps of setting it up sharing those documents. Uh, storing them on the blockchain and providing them to you. And um, if you have any questions, Mike, you could always contact me, always email me, obviously, you know, uh, we're, I'm around, you know, uh, and we can do another video chat, you know, and we can do you know, yep. screen shares and stuff as well, where I can show you specifically what I'm looking at, make sure we're looking at the same thing. And okay. uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be easy as that. So, okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, it's Dan Weinberg again. Uh, it's been a, a couple weeks uh, since I spoke with Mike and uh, I have all the, the documentation back to me and I just wanted to share it all with you. Uh, so basically, Mike, uh, as you saw, received those documents, Mike with Contracts Express. Uh, that shipment was set up um, and basically the documents were cleared uh, by U.S. Customs uh, as well as delivered uh, to the destination point in the United States as well. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here uh, is actually the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Entry Summary, uh, which I'll slide right in here. Uh, this actually shows uh, that the entry took place and happened uh, and then even more importantly or equally as importantly you can say uh, is the actual proof of delivery uh, signed uh, by the receiver on the other end as well. Uh, so uh, once again guys uh, this is a demonstration showing leveraging uh, you know other blockchain technologies uh, within a supply chain smart contract and in this case IPFS for document storage. Uh, I'm very excited about that functionality. Uh, we have a million use cases uh, coming down the line for that single functionality specifically. Um, and I want to show off the other new Morpheus uh, shirt as well. So once again, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and any questions, feel free to email myself or the team. Uh, reach out to us on Telegram. Uh, contribute to the, the Reddit AMAs, of course, as well. And, and once again, want to thank the whole community and everybody. Have a great day. <laughs>